this video, I'll show you how to replace someone's head to produce an effect common in parody videos online. I've got a clip of this woman dancing here, and I'll start by adding it to a timeline on the primary storyline. To make tracking easier, it's best if the person's face, which we'll be tracking here, is always visible, as it is throughout this shot. Next, I'll look in Generators C2 Track X for Simple Tracker. Connect it above the clip, then trim it to make sure it's the same length as our original clip. I'll move to the start of the clip, select the top tool from the Track X toolbar, then draw an oval to select the face, and press Track Forward. When tracking's complete, I'll click on the library icon to get back to my media, then on the simple tracker in the timeline, and then the insert layer image well in the inspector. To insert a static image, like this picture of an emoji character, I can choose any still image that's been imported to Final Cut. I can tweak the scaling with this scale offset slider, From this menu, I can choose to track position, position and scale, position and rotation, or all three, depending on the effect I'm looking for. For a more complex result, I can create a compound clip from any still image by simply right-clicking it and choosing New Compound Clip. I have a compound clip here already, which has had keying and masking applied. Inserting a clip like this into the image well lets you add one person's head onto another's body. You can further tweak the scale offset, x offset, and y offset to get the exact result you're looking for. Double clicking that compound clip lets me edit it, and timing changes I make here will carry across to the final composite timeline too. To change the expression on the replacement face, make changes in the compound clip at the same times that they need to happen in the composite timeline. It's also possible, though tricky, to use a video for head replacement. You'll need to keep the head in the same spot, but the principle is the same. If you want to try this advanced technique yourself, shoot a video of a head against a green screen, use the track and lock down effect, which comes with track X, to make sure the head doesn't move throughout the shot, and then apply keying and masking effects to remove the background. Track X is available now from coremelt.com, and there's a free trial available. Thanks for watching.